KHON2 Weather, Kelly Simak. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. We're going to be seeing some big improvements across much of the state for today, but a band of moisture associated with that frontal boundary that we saw push through portions of the state yesterday and the day before, that's still impacting us. So do keep in mind some extra cloud cover as well as rainfall still going to be here. But the big news are the big winds. It's going to be a breezy day today, partly to mostly cloudy skies, especially for the windward areas, but many areas seeing the mostly sunny conditions going to be dominating. As you can see, that's not the case in our Zephyr Cam at this hour. As you can see, the mostly cloudy skies and in the distance, we've seen some rainfall coming through as well. Nothing heavy, but it was a bit widespread and definitely fairly consistent. And I'll show you the radar in just a bit. It's definitely going to be more on the way within the next few hours. So this is what we're tracking. We have a new area of high pressure that's building into the north. It's expected to remain relatively stationary through the next couple of days, and that will continue to deliver us very breezy conditions. Pressure gradients nice and tight. We're looking at winds to about 30 miles an hour for today. Tomorrow, they ease off ever so slightly, but still up to 25 miles an hour, so still very blustery. Now again, a lot more rainfall. That, that band of moisture right now, it looks like just over Oahu. Starting to see a little bit of that towards Molokai as well, but the far west and far eastern end of the state definitely a bit on the drier side. As I play out the future satellite and radar though, you'll still see some of that lingering moisture into today. 2 p.m., still some of the extra cloud cover as well as rainfall. And then a little bit more clarity through the overnight hours into tomorrow. But elevated precipitation potential, that upper level low is still near the state. We still have that moisture associated with that dissipating front. So that's what we're going to be seeing, still keeping things wet for us. Looks like we could be in for another round of moisture at the middle of next work week. I'll have more on that as the system approaches us. But as of right now, it's looking like most forecast models further out are showing a mid to late week next week that more rain could be on the way. Wind strong through tomorrow. They'll start to ease off Sunday, though, and could see a land breeze, sea breeze pattern take over as early as Sunday. But it's looking like that's at least going to come through by Monday. All right, that's your weather. Now let's send it on out to Surf News Network's Gary Cooley, who has all you need to know on the surf front today. Hey, good morning, GQ. Hey, hi, Kelly. Well, we're looking at stormy three to five, maybe six on the North Shore, but it's no good, bad shape. The swell's a north direction. Most spots don't like it, but a few do, like Lania Camp, but it's still bumpy because of these chilly, blistering northeasterly trades. So three to five plus on the North Shore. Makaha, one to two plus, much more manageable, but much smaller. At Southern Shores are one to two plus. Yep, there's some three-footers to be had. Diamond, it's two to three, but again, just the trades, too windy. Two to three out there at Sandy's, watch for fours, and Makapu'u, a choppy uh, two to four there. Now, northeasterly winds are going to keep it this way. Small craft advisories for all waters. We had a low tide just before uh, dawn and going high at nine, small high tide, minus low tide back at two, sunset 643, and Aloha Friday sunrise at 631. 